blood pouring from an icy gash. That really isn't my kind of party. But luckily the mystery of Antarctica's blood falls has been solved. With science. Hello and welcome back to IO, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today things are getting kind of gross down in our mate Antarctica. Stay tuned to hear all of the gory news, but before I give it to you I want to know if you're a hot or a cold person. Do you prefer sunshine or snow? Let me know in the comment section down below. Honestly, I've really tried to love the snow more and more because I live in Canada, but I have to say I'm a sunshine Sally or Rebecca, because that is my name. Also while you're down there leaving me a comment, some sunshine emojis, some coconut emojis, maybe some snow emojis, but do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend and check out our IO Instagram, there are links in the description box. Okay, blood falls. For those of you who have never heard of this phenomena, blood falls is part of the Taylor Glacier in East Antarctica. Not many people have stepped foot in the South Pole, especially not at the time the Taylor Glacier was stumbled upon by its namesake, Australian geologist Griffith Taylor. Now he was the first explorer of the valley. Now imagine not only being in a very unfamiliar place, but also clapping eyes on this absolute monstrosity. This was Griffith Taylor's reality when he discovered blood falls in 1911. In those days geologists were already very scientifically minded rather than superstitious, so Mr Taylor was probably able to keep a level head, but still, if I saw this, I would run in the other direction and maybe cry. Probably cry. In fact, I'd, I'd definitely cry. I think this would be my reaction phase too. Like, <laughs> it'd be better than that. So it is a strange sight to see something bleeding in one of the most inhospitable and uninhabited areas of the world. In actual fact, the only living thing that can survive near the Taylor Glacier are microbes. So being a science man, Griffith Taylor assumed that the bleeding bloody waterfall was as a result of red algae, rather than a murdered ice giant, which is maybe what I would go for. Some people out there saw the pictures of the waterfall and did indeed think there was something more macabre and sinister going on. They thought that perhaps that was the reason for its unusual appearance. Imaginations and superstitions do tend to run wild when it comes to places far off and out of the way. Indeed, it is very hard for anyone to verify Taylor's logical explanations. Like I said, hardly anyone has ever set foot in Antarctica. However, now, these days, scientists do have a definitive answer. And it is an algae. So what is it? Okay. Are we circling back to the ice giant? Because I'm here for that theory. No, it's not an ice giant. Is it like the statues that cry blood? Well, not really, but the answer is kind of blood related. Blood in our bodies is filled with iron, as we know, which gives it its red colour when it interacts with oxygen. It isn't too far off what is happening at Blood Falls as it happens. Basically, iron deposits can be found in the surface of the ice. When they come into contact with air, they oxidise, creating what is essentially a rust. So when the soluble iron is released from the ice, it meets the air and it melts, creating what looks like flowing blood, but it isn't really. Now these findings were published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Biogeosciences on February the 2nd, and hands up if I pronounce that right because yay me in the auto queue. Basically the mystery of blood falls is solved. Stamp, sealed, delivered, great. Now this area of the world is so cold, it's thought that the Taylor Glacier was formed 5 million years ago and is home to some of the world's oldest ice. Who knows what secrets that ice is holding. Now the average temperatures in the South Pole are minus 46 degrees Celsius or minus 50 Fahrenheit. So really, if there's one thing we can say about the Taylor Glacier, it's bloody cold. Does that make sense if you're not British? I hope so. Okay, bleeding waterfalls, hard no thank you from me. I would much rather take a trip to the Pink Spencer Lake in Australia. Isn't nature weird and beautiful? And I have to say, weird and beautiful are two of my favourite flavours. Do let me know which you would rather visit, the Pink Spencer Lake or Blood Falls. I don't know, I feel like maybe the 15 year old goth in me is all about Blood Falls, but actually, really, no. Also do let me know if you're a summer bay or a winter bay, and of course do leave a nice big thumbs up on this video too, you know you want to. Before I go I'm just going to read some comments from my recent video about a woman with no forehead. Now this was a sad and cautionary tale. Avery Richo said, oh my god this is so sad, I'm in love with my forehead. Weird comment but 
I'm glad. Steve Hunt said, sad and dangerous, and trust me, traumatic brain injury is forever. I can relate to this woman. Aw, Steve, I feel for you. JP said, the seatbelt is the first thing I put on when I get in the car. Steve, you've got the right idea. Buckle up, everyone. Seatbelts, so important. So guys, that's the end of the video. Do let me know what you thought to it. Pink lakes, red lakes, all kinds of drama. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. You know I love reading out these comments. Now I think I'm gonna be popping into videos all week, so I don't know, leave me something to read out and say yay about, you know, I like to. Good. Thank you for watching this video. Do leave a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more daily news. Bye.